Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Keymaker Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Down. We're gonna head into the pantry. Let's see if we can't get that key. It's the second of three keys that we need. Here's one of the mirrors. This should be the last one. The mirror reacts to your touch and shows you the same pantry. The door is open and the gnarly witch appears in the doorway. She holds the wizard's gnawed body effortlessly, like a child or a bundle of cloth. Shuffling forward, she hurls him into onto one of the shelves between the potions and the artifacts. What a nice trophy I have today. Pleased with herself, the witch leaves. The mistress seems to have forgotten about her pantry for a long time. The lights remain out, but in the darkness there's a flickering of some artifacts. You see the body's wizard overtake you see the wizard's body overtaken by a strange swarming. Something is moving and wriggling there, and moaning softly. A long time seems to pass behind the glass before the lights are on again, and the witch appears in the doorway with Nerissa. Ah, I bungled it. The great hag shakes her head regretfully. Nerissa stares at the moving pile of worms, taking the shape of a human body. Clinging to life so stubbornly, desiring of revenge or a new chance, to be willingly to be willingly to return to life, to be willingly returned to life, even as an ugly monster. Oh, I know this feeling. She looks at the witch. Find a way to erase his memory without destroying his knowledge of magic. He could be very, very useful to me. He'll serve the one who destroyed him without even knowing what he's doing. Isn't it wonderful? The final moments of the vision show the wriggling man trying to make a first step in his horrid new form, and the early witch bustling around him discontented. Then everything vanishes. Another moment, and the wizard appears in the place of the horde creature, the way he looked when he was alive. The reflection stares into the distance and remains silent for a long time. So that's what it is. That's what it is. Do you remember everything now? Many things, the reflection says softly. Or says the reflection softly. I keep shifting words around. My name was, though it doesn't matter. I was a member of a wizard order who founded their state in the Stolen Lands a long, long time ago. We subdued this savage land with the power of magic and began to build a new order, one we deemed right. Within the century, or the country, jeez, the order had absolute power. Many thought it tyrannical, but so what? Then Nerissa came. She charmed us with sweet words, promised to share with us the secrets of the first world. What wizard would refuse new power and knowledge? We listened to her and paid for it dearly. With one hand she fed us new knowledge, which turned deadly, and with the other hand she nurtured troublemakers from the common people. Riots flared up around the country, were cruelly subdued, flared again. Then the best are, then our best wizards started dying one by one. I was the heir of the Order's chief, one of the strongest wizards in my generation. I was also foolish enough to be the first to take a magic elixir whose secrets Nerissa had shared with us. It enhanced the wizard's power for a short time, and also killed him. Slowly, but inevitably. When the truth was revealed, it became clear that me and the whole country uh, and, the, and the Order didn't have long to live. I gathered everyone I could for a desperate crusade into the First World. You've seen how it ended. Well, if you're free now, I have to go. I am free. The same as my real soul. You killed him, didn't you? May Oblivion take, us, take both of us. This life wasn't worth remembering. So, I, I kind of want to finish that quest before I confront I the Wriggling I Man in my next playthrough. What do we have here? So I'm interested to see if you can convince him to just not fight you. If you can uh, pass like a diplomacy check and tell them what happened. Hmm. Ah, little guest. You handled my trap? I was hoping to get a dead body. What a pity. Nerissa will be disappointed. Or perhaps she won't, if I bring her your head. I gave you a chance for us to part peacefully. Don't you care about your life? Spineless creatures avoiding quarrels. I have only contempt for those who try to make peace and good everywhere. Three, 
Okay. Well, I have a couple of uh, spells for you. You need to... I oh, know this is fine. Alright, so it seems like everybody is currently confused permanently. I still be able to kill her though. Oh no, death clutch, son of a gun. Well, shoot. The Aura of Madness messed this up. Can't get that initial wave of spells out. I'm positive I found something. Honestly, I thought we had it, but that, uh, that clutch, death clutch, got me. Come on, open the darn thing. Can you just roll a one? There we go. A lot of pumpkins in here. Interesting. So I think what I'll do this time, well, I'm going to summon this first. So I wasn't sure when she popped up, but I knew that we had to fight her. I'm going to keep some of my ranged people back. I thought you'd never ask. Quiet. I'm thinking. In hopes that they don't get targeted by her. Tasted. He's peasy. There we go. And she's dead. So the second key corrosive quarterstaff, hot armor plus five, mighty constitution, inspired wisdom, Gyr either Gyrona's or Gyrona's amulet. Touching this amulet gives you an unpleasant feeling of being watched. This amulet grants its wearer a plus five insight bonus to armor class and gives the benefits of the inner. Of the mirror image spell in combat on a combat start. 
It's actually really good. Insight bonus as well. It's time to act. There is a pair of boots that gives me Oh wait, that only gave me five anyway. Oh, bark skin will give me natural armor, so I don't need to worry about that anyway. Okay, cool. It all works out in the end, regardless. So a combat start, I will get mirror image on my main character, which is silly good. Disable this, go through the fog, we'll go back into the pantry. Then we have to go back into the fog, then explore the rest of the dungeon. And then we gotta go into the fog I'm again. Always ready. I'll take care of it. To uh, find the final key. A clever here. Um, holy aura should do. Or holy ah, bomb. Primitives. Dead. Will they ever learn? <laughs> this will hurt. <laughs> this strike, my masterpiece. <laughs> All right. Good fight, everybody. Remnant. It's a great sword. Plus five enhancement. The sword's hilt bears a depiction of a winged eye, the holy symbol of Aridin, the dead god. Despite its holy patron being long gone, the hollowed blade hasn't lost any of its power. This plus five flaming great sword deals additional two to six divine damage on hit. If its wielder is good and its target is evil, it deals additional 3 to 6 divine damage instead. Is that supposed to be this game's version of Karsamir? No, I don't think so. Karsamir was just a absolutely brutal item. My skills are absolute. Oh no, that's not fog, that's uh something else entirely. Alright, so now I go through the fog, explore the rest of the dungeon, should be set. Right. So we can cast... Well, who all needs it? She's blinded, let's get take care of that. Oh no, she's got the disease. I'll just do mass heal. Or just use two heals. It's only two of them affected by it, right? Yeah. Where are my heals at? Alright, let's check one more time, make sure everybody's stats are where they need to be. Perfect. It's time to act! It's a quick save before I run into more trouble. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to save the library for last. And this room, well, this room will actually be saved for last. Library will be library puzzle because I don't actually remember how to do it. Good, good versions of the emotion go on top, bad versions go on the bottom. It requires some hit or miss on my part. Hmm. We 
hasted? Yeah, we are. All right. A Let's finish it quick. Just strike my masterpiece. Primitives. You should have run. Your strength is Okay, I'll keep healing up. There we go. Alright, so that's the way to the fog room. A lot of people had trouble with that as well. I remember seeing a lot of uh, questions regarding the final key. It's this room right here. Uh, basically, you go in, you deactivate your lamp, and then you run into the fog. I think it's in the corner. And it should teleport you to a room with like a tree in the center. Who will prevail? Does it matter? What a waste. Cannot hide from me. A fine use of my talent. <laughs> Hmm. Is he going well? At an end. Man, I could die. I barely clutched that out. Good job, buddy. You know, I'd expect a little bit more out of a scroll of cure critical wounds. But you know what? It's fine. Jew Blossom was out of bombs. We're running low on resources. I should be stopping to rest, but we're going to clear out the dungeon before I do so. A clever ploy. Let's make this quick. See? Yeah, whenever I cast the cloud spells, it seems to slow down my whole party, like, permanently. We've seen in the past. Which is really, really not cool. Yeah, the cloud spells are... Just the worst. Also, the mirror bow is really good for taking out mirror image. Like, really good at it. Yeah, she doesn't have anything good. It's fine. Alright, so cloud spells are bugged. 
That's cool. Like they, uh... They have this permanent slow effect on your game. So I don't think she got it casted, did she? Oh, she failed because of the uh, wild energies. Well, is she under that effect over there? Look ahead. I'm moving my guys away because I don't remember if this chest is trapped or not. I'm glad they fixed it so the ranged ledger domain doesn't stay out after you use him. It used to be when you casted. Ha! Primitives. You can count on me. My skills are getting rusty. The forest makes care for every dust. <laughs> Don't hold back. Repent. It used to be when you casted it, he would stay out like he was a party member. But he couldn't be focused or anything. All he would do is just... I uh, just stayed out. Good job, Octavia. Alright, so I recommend not using cloud spells, despite them being the most effective spells in this area, especially against the wild hunt. Because <laughs> it does this crap to your game. I feel like I'm getting slower as we go on. So here's another mirror, but it doesn't matter. We're done with that quest. We're halfway to leveling up. We might hit level 20 before the end of the game. Would be even higher if I didn't manage to not do some quests. The end. Plus five, anarchic, uh, vicious, unstoppable. The holy weapon of Grotus, god of the end of the world. So Harem, this, I always give him heavy flail or heavy maces. Um, the heavy flail is his, the weapon he's proficient in because he worships Grotus. And I've always wanted to do a heavy flail, uh, but it's two-handed and I like him having a shield. Anyway, this plus five anarchic vicious heavy flail deals divine damage instead of physical, bypassing any damage reduction, resistance, or immunity the target may possess. It's pretty good. If I ever do a build where I don't have... Honestly... Heavy flail would have been perfect for this playthrough since my other frontliner doesn't have a shield. Like, does he have shield wall? I don't think I got him shield wall, did I? I did. See, that's a waste of a feat. Because you can't use that on anybody. I'm there. Okay. Well, I guess now all that's left is the library puzzle. There will be more enemies in the library, I think, as well. Should be a bunch of, like, wild hunt in here. I am never wrong. Oh, I forgot to cast his uh, thing again. Oh, where's it at? This. What's taking? Uh -huh. A test of my abilities. Looking for the monarch first. This 
I see prison mass, pretty good. What a waste. Easy. Alright, we're going to cast the mass heal real quick. Get my back up to snuff. Uh, we still hasted? Yes. Yes. Uh, any other buffs that I need to recast? Probably not. Well, yeah, let's recast this. Quick save, and then in we go. This will hurt! A fatal mistake! Cool, cool. In due time. All right, there's a bookshelf out here. Should have the. Uh... Oh, it has books on it. Oh, hey, Sheik of the Mini. It's quick save. I almost missed her. A figure hiding in the library shadows looks somehow blurred. Its shape in subtle flux. You hear laughter coming from under the hood. Oh, it's you. How amusing. We thought you'd be taller. We've met. Not yet. It'll happen around... yesterday? Or was it a month ago? Why are you here? Long, long ago, one of the eldest prepared a performance for the others. You must know the, cur the curse. Destroy a thousand kingdoms, fill up the cup, and you, Nerissa, will be forgiven. The Lantern King has always had problems with his sense of proportion. The performance turned out to be overlong, but quite amusing at times. We wouldn't want to miss the finale. A performance? Were these thousands of thousands of broken lives and deaths just entertainment for you? When you've lived as long as I have, child, you'll be surprised how much of what was once exciting will leave you yawning of boredom, and new things become terribly funny. Maybe you'll tell us what you're planning to do with the first crown. Do with the first crown? What crown? Ah, oh, wait. So that's why we were going to meet with you yesterday. Sheikah leans forward a little. With your help, I'll, I'll be able to pull a great joke. You know, we have a special relationship with time, right? We can borrow something from it, and later return the borrowed thing to, to when we got it from. For example, someone's soul. What if we put it back at the point when it was captured and stolen? What if the elves don't lose their king? In anyone else's hands, this crown would just be an ornament. But we can do many things with it. That's why you mustn't forget to give it to us. Ah, and you haven't. Good. Here's some advice. If you really want to get Nerissa good, defeat her, but do not kill her. Let her leave with her apology. A good joke at just the right time. It'll make everything much, much more, much, much more amusing. I hope the Lantern King likes it. I'm surprised you talked to me like this. I thought the Eldest were equal to gods here in the First World. 
Shika laughs musically. But you've spoken with the eldest. Many times. Many, many times. Well, I have to go. We'll be, ha we'll be happy to see you when we meet. We'll be happy to see you when we meet you again yesterday. What a charming character. So she's supposed to help me against Nerissa, but uh, I don't think that she does. Follow if you dare. Alright, so I don't know if I have enough books for all the shelves, right? Because there's... Well, there's only three. I think I have seven books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, let's see if we can't figure out this puzzle real quick. I don't remember. Sorrow, wrath, and fear. Okay. So on top should be joy. So. So I think good fear would be the journey. And this should be the shackle should be the bottom fear. So that one goes here. And then this one was wrath. So Oh, here we go. Joyless Triumph. Let me read that one. The, book page, the book's pages are empty, but upon opening it, you see yourself. You stand over the body of the stag lord on that distant day when the fate of the stolen lands and yours was decided. She, who, she whom you share your sight with is laughing wickedly in triumph. You feel her vicious joy, her, hear her thoughts. The hound I let slip has taken the stag. Oh, how proud this new hero must be. How little you know, Hound, that your life and your death shall serve the mistress's plans. I need only wait a little a little while. Allow you your toy allow you your toy crown, then steer you to your death, as I have steered the stag. Yet another grain will fall into the cup. Dust, dust, that is what you are. So wrath, top shelf of wrath. Should be good, which might be nourishing rage. Then bottom should be blind revenge, maybe. I don't know. That sounds right. The last one is joy, so good joy would be. New beginning and bad joy book of bitterness. Nope, okay, that was wrong. I would try it one more time, then we'll call it an episode. So I'd like to figure this out. My book of bitterness. So the sense of defeat, burden of grief and sorrow way down. Is there not another is there another shelf? Because I have eight now, I think. I'm there. I think it's just the three shelves. Let me double check in here. I don't see anything in here that I can put books on. So yeah, I think it's just the three. I do what I must. Alright, so Sorrow could be... Hmm. So this one's bad. Book of Bitterness is the bottom Sorrow. It has to be. Because I even mentioned Sorrow in the description. And it's bad Sorrow. Um, this might be... A good Sorrow. Yeah, never saying goodbye. So Wrath, you have Good Wrath, which would be... So 
so rage. This one should be bad, I think. This blinding rage should be the bottom. Good wrath should be... I, I'm assuming nourishing rage. I mean, it just sounds right. Because that literally means good wrath. And this one is what? Joy? Fear. So bad fear would be shackles. And good fear should be... Book of the Journey. Boom. Okay. So reiterate, bottom of Sorrow. Is it Sorrow? Is Book of Bitterness. Top of Sorrow is Book of Never Saying Goodbye. Bottom Wrath is Book of Blind Revenge. Top Wrath is Book of Nourishing Rage. Bottom Fear, Book of Shackles. Top Fear is the Book of the Journey. The, uh, I mean, the titles kind of give it away. Gamekeeper of the First World. Composite, uh, Enhancement plus 5. This plus 5 Composite Longbow is a 19 to 20 critical range. Whenever it lands a hit, the target becomes illuminated for 3 rounds, preventing it from using invisibility, inflicting a minus 50 penalty on stealth checks, and a minus 4 to armor class. Okay. Now, I'm curious. Let's find some fog real quick. And then come back and check out that, uh... I'm always ready. That hidden room. Then in the next episode, we'll go through the fog room and find the third key. And we might wrap up the dungeon in the next episode. And then we still probably have, like, two more episodes left after that, because we have, uh... the final stretch. We should move. Uh, teleport me all the way over here. That's a very uncool game. Shouldn't have anything to fight, we'll just run there and check. What I need to do is go rest and not keep pushing my luck in the dungeon because I don't only have any rations left. It's off camera. I'll probably go run, grab some rations, and come back down here before we make the journey through the fog. I really need to be more careful with my use of stinking cloud and uh, cloud kill because slowing down the game like this is not fun. It'd be nice if it didn't roll once. I didn't be able to get inside of this. There we go. 30,000 gold. Hot dog. Okay, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, next episode, I'll meet you guys back here ish. Rest up and it's rebuff. Then go find the third key. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.